we heard from the Prime Minister, who was up in your neck of the woods, I think, in Blackpool, he clarified what he meant when it came to Jimmy Savile. We were hearing from the government this morning, they were saying, what happened last night was thuggish and you cannot in any way blame the Prime Minister. Are they right? Well, he's certainly not uniquely to blame, Kay, for what happened yesterday. But if you're going to play the Trump handbook at the dispatch box of the House of Commons and incite people with untruths, there are going to be consequences. And we saw some of those consequences yesterday. The thing that surprises me most about the situation we are in, we are a matter of a couple of months since a British MP was murdered in his constituency office. And it just feels as though they've moved on and that hasn't registered. And bear in mind, just five years since Joe Cox was murdered. And I remember at that point in time, Kate, thinking, surely this will be a reset moment now. Surely people will step back. But that hasn't happened. How many more warning signs do we need that the political debate in this country is in a very dangerous place? What would you say to the Prime Minister this morning? As Steve Rotherham just said, face up to it. If it was wrong, apologise. We all do things that perhaps we, on reflection, wouldn't have done in politics. In the heat of the moment, things come out. The best thing to do always is face up to it and say it was wrong and apologise. And then everybody can move on. I mean, it was an extraordinary state of affairs to have a senior number 10 advisor, Boris Johnson's longest serving um, aide, resigning on the back of this. That tells you something was, a line was crossed. That's what it tells you. And as I said, I'm not saying he's uniquely to blame. And there's been some inflammatory language amongst people on the left in recent times. So it's not kind of only his problem. But he is the Prime Minister. When he speaks from the dispatch box, his words have consequences. And he can't allow his desperation with regard to the situation he's in to see up the decimation of all, all standards in politics. That, that really can't happen. 